was in my grandmother's hope chest. And when she passed away, I found it. It's my great, great, great grandmother and grandfather. They lived in Willimantic, uh, right. Connecticut. I'd kind of like to know uh, who the artist uh, is and if he did other paintings in the area. Right. This is a fascinating watercolor. You said, I'd like to know more about him as the artist, is that it's not a him. Oh, it's not. It's not. It's a, it's a she. Oh. And uh, the artist's name is Jane Anthony Davis. Oh, my. And she was born in Providence, Rhode Island in 1821, and she died of consumption in 1855. And she was an itinerant artist, and she traveled around the areas close to her birthplace in Rhode Island, in Willimantic and other towns in Connecticut, painting portraits of the common folk. These were not expensive things yeah. to be done, but they were important things to be done because they were the primary way that people had images of their families. What's really nice about this particular Davis is, you've got the mother yes. and her baby girl and her husband, and there's the mother-in-law right yes. there, Elizabeth Fisk. Yes. And what's really nice about this one is not only that it's three generations, but it's fully inscribed. Beautiful calligraphy, which shows the names of the subjects. There's the name of the town in which they were painted, the date, August the 9th, 1845. And here's the artist's signature, J.A. Davis, and a photograph of them in Nebraska later on. Right. So this is an incredible family document and a wonderful example of a rare woman artist. Oh, well, I never thought about a woman at all. I know, it most people don't. That's so, nice. I guess the only piece of the puzzle that's missing right now is the value. This unusual triple portrait and the single portrait would be twenty-five to thirty-five thousand oh, dollars. That's very nice. I, my husband will be very surprised. <laughs>